Good morning and uh, welcome to Take 10 for this week. I wonder what thoughts or feelings the word wilderness evokes in you. The Oxford Dictionary describes wilderness as uninhabited, inhospitable, neglected. It also describes wilderness as being something of a position of disfavour. For many of us, the word wilderness will carry with it a, a negative sense. It, we may even see it as a place of punishment. This past year, for so many of us, has held a desperate sense of being in the wilderness, maybe a strong sense of lostness. The month of April each year is recognised as Stress Awareness Month and over the next four weeks I really want to keep that in mind as we consider various aspects of stress and how we handle it. But despite the negative connotations, the wilderness can be a place of growth, a place of preparation, a place of refinement. Our experiences in the wilderness can lead us to much greater things. But if we really want to learn from such seasons in life, we need to be willing to ask ourselves some honest and potentially tough questions. Firstly this, where or in what does my identity and my security truly lie? And secondly, what can I learn from this experience about myself, about my character and my personality, my actions and my words, about my relationships, my priorities? And what can I learn about the world around me? The willingness to honestly face those two questions can make the significant difference between us being defined or refined by this or any other wilderness season that we might face. What do I mean by those terms? Well, for me, being defined is about boundaries. It's about some element of uh, control or restriction around my life. Whereas refined is about the removal of impurities, of unwanted elements in order to improve the quality of something, in this case, of my life and my very being. So how do I personally answer those questions. Wow, where does my security lie? Does it truly lie in my faith, in my relationship with God, or does it lie in my role, my achievements, my abilities, my relationships, maybe even my bank balance? 95% of my role as a chaplain is face to face. It's about activities, it's about interaction with people, it's about coming alongside other people. Can I honestly say that I'm secure and content when this year so much has been stripped away? I suspect that the honest answer must be that I'm not as secure as I would like to admit. But I do know this, that I want this strange and unpleasant season to refine me and not define me. When I come out of this, I want my relationships to be stronger and more meaningful. I want to prioritise time with those who help to feed my soul and spirit. I want my words and my actions to be of genuine value. 
I want to let go of the useless and the meaningless and truly live my life in the light of eternity. I want my role as a chaplain to be of greater eternal value. I no longer want to walk in the fear of man or in the fear of the future. I want to walk the path that God has set before me with greater boldness and purpose. I don't want to be reliant on my own gifts and abilities. The American philosopher William James said this, the greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one thought over another. Our ability to choose one thought over another. I believe if we can incorporate this positive slant on the way we approach challenges, it will revolutionize our lives and reduce the level, levels of stress that we find ourselves dealing with. What about you? In what ways do you wish this time to change you and to refine you? The wilderness is never a pleasant place to be, but it can teach us invaluable lessons and we must never forget the lessons that we learnt there. I hope you have a great week. Do please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we would love to see you again. Take care.